Hello everyone. I, um, I had a gentleman request that I give the details of my homemade whatever geyser pump, if you consider it that. Um, it's real simple design and I just wanted to show run a real run through it real quick and just show you you know how to build it. Basically all this is is an inch and a half T that I bought a inch and a half to half inch reducer right there and I, what I've done is inside here there was a lip on it that stops the PVC pipe from from going down into it I removed that lip with like a Dremel tool a little die grinder you know ground all that out of there and then it, the pipe slides right through there it's still tight though because I didn't really mar this up here I just got rid of the lip down there this right here is a plug it's just inch and a half plug and I just drilled the holes about the same size, maybe a touch smaller than the, the hose size. That way they fit tight and they don't leak air. And really on this, if these fittings don't fit real loose, if you, if you have to actually force them in, then you don't even have to glue them because they're not going to leak. And you know, if you have a problem with leaking, you can always glue them. I just like to be able to reuse parts so I don't, I don't mess with the, the glue generally unless they fit loose. So you can see basically that's that's all that is. Okay, you got two lines here that go in here, and you got one line down here. I've drilled this hole, and what I use this for is this little air stone here. I, I put it in here, and I run a line through, and it sits underneath the pipe. Now this pipe is kind of a special pipe. I have taken the end okay a normal end you can see the the fatness on it and on this end you can see I've kind of beveled that the inside of that pipe so it will actually catch a little more air and a little more water so basically it goes down in the top and you force it down in here and this air stone is going to sit right underneath it and what happens is this air stone is going to create kind of a an air lifting effect and it'll lift the water up a little higher than it. it won't lift it all the way up in your grow bed but it'll lift the, the water up a little higher and it's also infusing oxygen in it at the same time and so what happens is you, you have a lighter water and so when your your main bubble comes from from your air from in here comes into the bottom of this pipe that's your stand pipe that you have in there it will actually lift more water up there and and the water is better for your grow bed because it's got more you know more air in it and then when it goes back down into the fish tank it's also you know it's still got more air and it's just highly oxygenated so it, it helps your fish and your grow bed so um let me i'm going to set this camera down real quick and then i'm going to put the pipe down in it so you can kind of see what happens and uh before i do these these right here i stick my airlines in and i go ahead and put a couple of these stones on each you know one on each airline and I pull back on the tube really tight so it kind of seals them in there so they're not going to pop off you don't have any danger of losing them in there or anything like that so let me get that pipe down there and I'll show you what what's up okay so you can kind of see I forced the pipe down through the top okay and it's sitting in there and what happens is let's set this down like this you take this air stone and you don't want the air stone to hit the, the pipe so what you want to do is you want to take the pipe and take it up to about three eighths to a half half an inch higher than this air stone now because of the bevel on here it's going to catch a lot of these bubbles a lot more than if it wasn't beveled so we can get it in there and trying to get you a good picture here of what it looks like it's gonna sit right I mean really you just want it pretty much get my fat fingers out of the way you want it just pretty much as square as you can get underneath there but like I said in between that pipe and this air stone you want a half an inch maybe three-eighths of an inch because you want to give it enough room to, to suck a good amount of water up there but at the same time you want enough room for the air that's building up in this in inside this uh, T here you want to make sure you got enough room for it to come around and put a big slug of air that forces the water up into your grow bed so uh, 
that's basically all all my construction. I mean, it's real simple. There's nothing major to it. The hardest part is really just beveling this and then on the top side taking the T and cutting that groove out of it. That's really the hardest part. Everything else is really simple. And, and you know, even that is simple, but that's just the hardest part. Um, if you like my videos, basically I'm not a good speaker or anything, but if you like what I've done in my videos, then please subscribe and Thank you guys for watching.